recently we have been seeing some evidence of certain high powered ladies, ladies from the black community getting into some issues in their respective cities. The first is Tiffany Henyard, who's from Dalton, Illinois. Allegedly, she's out there spending all the city's money in Dalton. Then there was Monique Owens, who was the city's mayor. And she was replaced in East Point, Michigan. But then there's another story that is trending around the nation. Felicia Franklin. Now, Felicia Franklin was the Clayton County Commissioner. If you guys know Clayton County, is right outside of Atlanta. And of course, um, it's a pretty good job. It's a damn good job. And she was recently hanging out at a bar in Morrill, Georgia. And she was having some drinks, about four or five drinks. Then she ended up outside and she was belligerent. I don't want to play the clip, but if you see it, you will see her, her saying, you know, you better get him out of my face. You better get out of my face and all of that. Right. Um, and then because of this, she was fired. Right. But now let me play this video because this is some very interesting stuff. And then we're going to come back. Good evening, everyone. I'm Linda Stouffer. Police are now questioning a local county commissioner's story after she claimed someone spiked her drink at a bar. New at 6, Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live in Moro. And Mark, police told you they have not found any evidence that anyone targeted the commissioner, Felicia Franklin, with GHB. We can show you drink by drink by drink by drink on video what happened according to a Murrow police investigator. And we can bring you key parts of Commissioner Franklin's side because we've got video of her interview with that police sergeant. Get him out my face! You gotta police get him out my face! I don't give a f Get him out my face! Stop it. You After reviewing all these hours of video and body cam video, there is no evidence to support the claim of Miss Franklin having something put in her drink. <laughs> from the body cam in the video uh, of, at 44 Sports Bar and Greer. This is Clayton County Commissioner Felicia Franklin. That is correct. The Clayton County Commissioner, the cameras, and her claims suggesting she may have been drugged. Morrow Police Sergeant Scott Stewart says he reviewed hours of police body cam video and security video from inside the 404 Sports Bar and Grill to determine what caused Clayton County Commissioner Felicia Franklin to pass out outside the club and later behave Get him on this truck. combatively in a Morrow Fire EMS ambulance after an officer summoned help because she may have hit her head outside 404 the night of September 29th. She's been on medication for two weeks. A Morrow police document says, quote, there is no evidence to support the claim of Ms. Franklin having something put in her drink. This is obtained from video at 404 Sports Bar and Grill, unquote. We are pending a, a subpoena for uh, blood to see if blood work was done at uh, the hospital when she went. They didn't draw blood for whatever reason. Commissioner Franklin has told us her doctor says her behavior and symptoms were consistent with someone having drugged her with GHB, commonly known as a date rape drug. And in fairness, one video shows... I don't know what they gave. Are you okay? No, What's... I'm not. I don't know what they gave Where's your purse? Sergeant Stewart said a receipt collected from 404 Sports Bar and Grill indicates Commissioner Franklin paid the tab with a credit card called Committed to Elect Felicia. He suggested a document indicates she had three of the That's Home Run drinks. A police document indicates it contains 40 proof Hennessy and Grand Marnier. Plus a glass of wine was ordered. A, a, a nine ounce pour was ordered. The waitress here is delivering the uh, first drink of wine to uh, Commissioner Franklin that she ordered. This is the first home run drink that Miss uh, Franklin ordered after the wine. That would be the s second home run that was ordered by Miss Franklin. That's the part where she left the drink at the table. Nobody touches it at that table as well. So that's the uh, home run drink delivered by the uh, waitress there. We believe it's her fourth drink. Fourth drink, your evidence indicates, ordered and received by Commissioner Felicia Franklin. That's correct. I just want to be very blunt with you. You can be blunt. You have five drinks. I didn't drink five drinks. Sergeant Stewart said the fifth drink to which he referred during his interview with Commissioner Franklin. But I didn't order five drinks. Okay. 
So let's, let's, let's I didn't out. order five drinks. Okay. Was a swig of someone else's beer he observed on video. I'm assuming. What's up, Lab? It looked like a Corona to me or whatever. It was a beer bottle. That's when I started feeling funny. Okay. After the band left is what I told you when I first walked in. That's when it got fuzzy because I don't remember. So do you think Sergeant Stewart says Commissioner Franklin was adamant repeatedly that she did not consume five drinks and that she suggested some of the drinks on her bill must have been for other people. He says she did not consume all of at least her first. That's a home run drink, but he can confirm some consumption of other drinks. I didn't even order food. He put everybody on my bill. I don't care who Patty is. You are on my, my patient. A Lake City Police report says more OEMS requested I follow behind them to the hospital. It says at an intersection, the ambulance stopped. You gotta get Police him out my face. I don't give a f Get him out my stop face. It, you gotta get him out my face. Not him. You gotta get him out my face. Ma'am, you're about you, to go to jail. I don't give a f Get him out my face. Uh, swig of beer, as I recall, if you couldn't understand that part about the fifth drink. Uh, it seems the commissioner did not go to jail, but to a hospital. Comments on video, if accurate, uh, indicate she'd been ill recently, a sinus infection or bronchitis, and had been on medication, prednisone for one at least. A quick Google search suggested possible side effects of loss of contact with reality, uh, confusion. One site suggested, check with your doctor immediately if these side effects occur, aggression, agitation. Reporting live in Morrow, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News. So guys, you, 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 you hear the unaccountability. The woman, clearly, you saw her, she was having a good time, she was dancing, she was bouncing the booty all up and down in the club, and she, she is thick, so I'm mean, like, she's working with something. She's outside of the bar, she passes out, outside, okay? She's yelling repeatedly, trying to say that somebody drugged her but you saw evidence that nobody drugged her they're looking at the video their videos all over the place everything is there right what does this lady say the lady gets fired because of her own doing she's now trying to sue the city to get her job back she plans a suit she's telling people that she's going to file a wrongful termination lawsuit following the board's unanimous vote to remove her right now as you've heard they have found no evidence that they have any kind of um date grape peel in the drink there is nothing but here's what they found all right a toxicology report found franklin consumed several drinks of alcohol and had cannabis in her system right cannabis in her system however she wants to sue for what she did to herself all right calling the move unlawful let me just say this guys and i know y'all tired of saying this but what is up with these ladies it's especially some of the ladies in our community where they feel like they're supposed to be able to do whatever they want and nothing is supposed to happen to them anything they want to do they should be able to do it and if they're not able to do whatever they want to do it's unlawful it's like how dare you not let me do whatever i want to do to you how dare you i expect i should be able to do everything i want to do and since you don't want to let me do it i'm gonna sue you i don't need no evidence you know and i'm not gonna apologize not gonna say hey i had a bad night can y'all consider no you gonna fire me i'm supposed to have a position in the government because i'm supposed to have it and, 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 and what people just don't understand in life if you cannot all right handle your liquor don't drink you can't handle your liquor don't drink you know if if you want to act a fool do it at your house my mom used to always tell me if if if, if you want to have a drink and if you want to get drunk don't do it out in the public do it at your house I'm 42 right now. 
I follow that advice to a T. The most I will have is one or two glasses of wine. That's it. Ain't gonna catch me out there acting a goddamn fool. Especially out in the public. What if somebody want to come and rob you or do something else to you? You out there passed out. A grown adult woman with a college education, I'm pretty sure, passed out. And you're working for the county. And you smoking weed too? How you smoking weed? You're hitting the blunt. You're hitting the blunt. Then you know you're just doing whatever you want to do. Feeling like you're going to do whatever you want to do. No, you're not. Don't nobody got time for you. Now you mad that ain't nobody got time for you. When you out there weaving the sailing, get yourself together. How are you going to sue when it, they didn't find no drugs in your system? The only drug they found was some weed, which you was clearly smoking. You know you ain't got no, uh, ain't no business hitting no damn blunts. But you know what? Can't tell them nothing. Can't tell them nothing. They want to do whatever they want to do. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again for another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate it for all you just heard the bell. We're out.